Hi, I'm Josh Lowenson, Associate Editor for CNET Webware, taking a first look at Chrome, the brand new web browser from Google. Chrome is the first big name browser to hit the market since Apple introduced Safari back in 2003, and it's a play by Google to shake up the top spots held by Microsoft's Internet Explorer and Mozilla's Firefox. Let's take a look at what makes Chrome different from some of the other browsers on the market. The first thing you'll notice is the minimalist design. It manages to give your pages about as much screen real estate as when you've got Firefox or Internet Explorer set to full screen mode. Users with small laptop screens will love this. The tabs also reside on the top of the window instead of underneath the address bar. Part of the reason for that is that each tab is its own instance of the browser, meaning if you're on a page that makes your browser hang, it won't make the entire program crash. You can also drag tabs off the main window and onto your desktop, then back again. Another feature of Chrome is that the address bar doubles as a search box. You can configure it to use Google or another search engine, and like the awesome bar in Firefox 3, it provides a listing of the pages in your history that come up as you type. Every time you open up a new tab in Chrome, you'll see a special start page. It lists a small grid of the sites you've been visiting the most, along with a list of recent bookmarks. There's also a special search box just for browsing history. If you're a security nut, there's also a mode called incognito that lets you surf the web with complete privacy. Once toggled, it won't save browsing or search history. This is useful for those times when you want to let a friend use a computer or if you're trying to cover up early holiday gift buying. Here's a good tip on how to use it. If you see a link you'd like to open up without it getting stored in your browser history, simply right-click it and select Open Link in Incognito Mode. You can tell whenever you're in special privacy mode because your browser turns a darker color. For its first version, Chrome is already off to a great start. While Firefox 3 and the latest beta of Internet Explorer 8 have more features, users might be flocking to Chrome if only for its slick and simple look. I'm Josh Lowenson and this has been a first look at Chrome.